So today in this lecture we are going to discuss the delayed compliance or stress relaxation of the vessels. In the last lecture we discussed compliance and we discussed that compliance was basically the quantity of blood that could be stored in a blood vessel for every millimeter of mercury rise in pressure. That for example for every mm of mercury rise in pressure the quantity of blood the volume of blood that could be stored in a vessel was basically compliance and compliance was dependent on the volume of blood and uh, the, the dilatation or the distensibility of the blood. Delayed compliance basically is defined as when a vessel is exposed to increased volume at first it exhibits, exhibits a large increase in pressure but progressive delayed stretching of the smooth muscles in the vessel wall allows the pressure to return back toward normal or a period of time. Delayed compliance basically means that if this blood vessel it is exposed to a large volume of blood a lot of volume of blood has been injected in this blood vessel the pressure in this vessel will increase for example here the the volume of blood has been increased a lot of blood has been put in this vessel at this pressure around so as soon as the blood is injected in this vessel the pressure the pressure initially will go to from 4 to around 12 from 4 to 12 initially it will increase but due to delayed stretching of the smooth muscles these are the smooth muscles which are making the wall of a blood vessel due to delayed stretching of these smooth muscles the pressure with passage of time this is time basically as the time passes this pressure will decrease from 12 to around 9 from so what is delayed compliance delayed compliance basically is decrease in pressure it is basically decrease in pressure after some time when the vessel has been in exposed to a lot of pressure when when we put a lot of blood in the vessel the pressure initially increases but with passage of time that pressure decreases the volume of blood the volume of blood in that vessel which has been put into it increased volume the increased volume that has been put here it remains the same the volume remains the same but the pressure with the passage of time decreases to a lower level this is known as delayed compliance and this delayed compliance is basically due to the smooth muscles that are present in the wall of a blood vessel so delayed compliance is a delay is a decrease in pressure after some time when it has been exposed to increased volume of blood that initially caused a large increase in pressure initially here we put a lot of blood in the vessel the pressure increases now the volume of blood remain there the volume is there the blood is there but the pressure has slowly decreased because because of the stretching of the smooth muscles now this thing can occur in the reverse direction as well when there is a sudden loss of blood from the human body for example the pressure suddenly decreases from for example from this 9 to around 4 as soon as there is a lot of blood loss there is sudden blood loss for example the pressure will suddenly decrease but then due to the contraction of the smooth muscles the pressure will eventually with the passage of time it will come back it will increase to this level so delayed compliance or stress relaxation is uh, helping the blood vessels in both the direction when the pressure is when a lot of volume comes into the blood vessel it initially increases the pressure but slowly due to this stretching of the smooth muscle the pressure decreases gradually but when there is a lot of blood loss there is sudden decrease in pressure but due to the contraction of these smooth muscles gradually there is the pressure builds again with the passage of time without without putting any extra volume without putting any extra 
blood into the vessel this uh, pressure is uh, increased basically stress relaxation it helps to accommodate extra blood and loss of blood so the the importance or the advantage of delayed compliance or stress relaxation is that when we inject a lot of blood into the in the veins the veins are able to accommodate the blood without without causing much increase in the blood pressure similarly when there is loss of blood the the veins are able to maintain their pressure without any injection of the blood extra blood so that's delayed compliance and its importance in the human body to summarize it again delayed compliance or stress relaxation is the decrease in pressure the decrease in pressure after some time the decrease in pressure after some time or the increase in pressure after some time when it has been initially in exposed to a lot of pressure due to a lot of volume of blood or it has been exposed to a lot of blood loss so when a lot of blood is injected in the vessels the volume increase initially the pressure increases but then the pressure decreases gradually without removing the extra blood without removal of the extra blood the pressure decreases similarly when a lot of blood has been removed from here when a lot of blood has been removed from here the pressure suddenly falls but then without injecting injecting any extra blood the pressure gradually comes to the normal and this is due to the stretching or the contraction of the smooth muscles that are present in the vessel walls so that's all about the delayed compliance or stress relaxation of the blood vessels thanks a lot for watching the video